Shibori is a Japanese resist technique using stitched methods, binding, um, pole binding, traditionally dyed with indigo, um, but you can also use natural dyes and other dyes as well. I first discovered Shibori uh, at West Dean College outside Chichester, um, somewhere I go to do short classes and uh, I had gone down to do a jewellery class um, because I do that as a hobby. I was looking through the brochure basically and saw this Shibori and Indigo dyeing class. I thought actually that sounds quite interesting and I've always been quite fascinated with Japan. I decided to just go along and try it out and it was just a revelation basically. I just totally fell in love with the whole thing. The thing I enjoy most about Shibori is the huge variety of the patterns that you can make with it. I like to use sort of some of the traditional Japanese patterns, but I also like to stretch things by inventing my own stitches and applying it in a different way. I'm quite taken with patterns that you find in nature, the stripes that you get from driving rain or patterns you get in a leaf or from the bark of a tree. And also sort of things like constellations in the night sky, the patterns of stars. So those kind of things often sort of kickstart something in my head. I often find I get lost in shibori really because when you're stitching something and it's often quite repetitive, uh, you just get into a rhythm with it and it's just quite a sort of peaceful thing to do. Shibori is quite traditionally used with indigo, which is a really magical dye, because when you're actually making a vat and you've dyed your fabrics, there's this wonderful colour reaction which happens. When you take the fabric out of the dye, you have this sort of acid yellow colour, and it turns through a green colour into the traditional indigo blue right before your eyes. One of the things I really like about Shibori is the sort of unpredictability of it so you know what pattern you're going to get but you never quite know exactly how the pattern's going to look and when you unpick to reveal your work that's when it all actually comes to life and that's the exciting bit. I get a lot of pleasure out of making a finished item out of the fabrics so it's not just about actually designing the patterns and dyeing the fabrics it's also about what I turn them into afterwards. I also use sort of patchwork techniques to sort of break up some of the patterns and change them into different things. And when you've made a complete piece like a lampshade or a cushion and the thought you can then see that in somebody's living room where they're proudly telling people, oh yes, this is my shibori cushion that I got from this new designer in Muswell Hill, that's quite exciting for me.